Hey guys, we have a Helldivers 2 hotfix patch that just came out last night. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, overview for this patch, we have made improvements to the changes to the following areas. Balance, changes to weapon stratagems, enemies, and a change to, to spread democracy mission. Wait, is that a new mission? Spread democracy? No, that's the flag mission. Oh, the flag mission. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Um, armors with armor rating of above 100 now have reduced damage on headshots. That's really good. I wonder if it'll actually affect me. Like, can... I guess it's gonna depend, like, if a... Like, can a hunter jump on you and still one-shot you with a headshot? Um, this will be, like, really good if they can't. Because right now, I think that the heavy armors actually kind of suck against, um... They, they, they kind of suck against bugs, I think. Because, like, it doesn't really save you. At least from what I've experienced. How about you guys? What do you guys think about that one? I think mobility is king. Yeah, against bugs, right? Or just in general? Mm -hmm. Even even in general. Even yeah, so this mm -hmm. headshot thing might I help use, it a lot. I use hardcover. Yeah. Victory poses will now play for the extracted. Um, Will now only play for the extracted. Oh, right. <laughs> because you have like, you have like the characters coming up from the elevator and like, like the people on the side that just, just spawned in would play it as well. Uh, burning damage reduced by 15%. Wait, did we verify? Did we ver well, hold on? Did we verify if that's only for players? Yeah, if that's. I if don't that's, know. It, it's it, unclear it's if that's for damage to players or damage against anything. Yeah, yeah because I actually. If it's for players, that's that's two more ticks, I think, before you. Yeah, but you have to react. Like I, I don't, I didn't even feel like the burning damage was like OP against creatures either. So it's kind of, I don't know about that um okay here we go primary secondary support weapon changes uh, ex uh exploding crossbow i actually used exploding crossbow a lot before uh slightly smaller explosion increased dagger oh that's really good increased dagger decreased uh number of uh maximum mags down to four four uh down by four uh i mean it was already a lot anyway um increased the number of magazines received from resupply okay so you get full resupply now but um it, it decreases the amount that you just have. Slight reduction in ergonomics and muzzle velocity increased. Oh, this is huge. Depends how much it is, but like the, the, it was kind of hard to hit stuff with it because it was so slow. Whoa, Quasar Cannon increased recharge on by five seconds. That's a huge nerf, guys. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, that's like that's like 80% basically because it's what? It's, it's eight seconds? Seven seconds? Something like that? Yeah, that's there. huge. Yeah. Uh, full auto is now the default fire mode of the adjudicator. Reduced recoil, increased maximum mass from six to eight, and increased number of ma magazines re uh, received from resupply just to full, and now placed amongst assault rifles. I'm gonna have to see because the recoil on that was what made it pretty useless. Mm -hmm. Which one was this one again? Like the adjudicator? That was the new, new medium pen auto rifle. Oh, the kind of like DMR looking one that had full mm -hmm. auto. Oh, I see. The, it, it was kind of a weird gun. Like, I mean, I, I guess I have to try it out a little bit more from, but from what I tried it, it was like okay at long range, but like it was really good, like at kind of closer range. So it was kind of like if you wanted to snipe, but also have, um, like if you wanted to run like grenade or something like in your other hand, it, it was it was something that like gave you long range and short range viability. Um, it, it was a very niche pick, I think. Uh, Punisher mm -hmm. plasma decreased maximum mags from twelve to eight. Increased amount of magazines. Okay. Uh, increased projectile speed, but it will keep a similar range. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, decreased damage fall off from explosion. Ooh. That's good. That's very good. Now place in the energy weapons category. I actually think the Punisher Plasma is really good. Like I like it. It seems it seems like it's kind of bad, but like I've been using it a lot, and I actually think it's kind of underrated. It's especially good on defense missions, like the ones with the walls that you, you can shoot down over the walls. It's very very strong for that. So uh, there's a quirk I've been seeing about this update on uh -huh. the Plasma, the yep. Punisher. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're wearing a shield backpack, you can't fire through your shield. Oh my god, there's a blow up on it. Explode wait, on the inside. Wait, of that the didn't happen bubble. before? No. So this patch that um I did hear people in chat say that this patch in introduced a lot of bugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So wait, does that also work for the towers? Does that also work for the uh, um the it's rifle? The big bubble. Plasma rifle? Does it do It's not for the scorcher, just the uh Punisher. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, we've got the uh Arc 12 Blitzer over here. So this is the the shot the lightning shotgun. Increased shots per minute from 30 to 45. Oh, that's a huge. That's like that's yeah, that's a, a huge increase. 50% fire rate. Yes, 50% bonus fa fire rate. That is actually really good. This was actually like one of the main problems with the gun is like how low the fire rate was because this actually might make it a lot more usable. Well, I mean, also arc just being like generally inconsistent. So, but but this does make it a lot more usable. The eruptor. Um, this is uh the eruptor is the that's the explosive. The bolt action. Yeah, explosive this bolt. This was yeah. needed, but I don't like it. Yeah, decrease the number of maximum weight. Uh oh. This is a huge nerf. It had so much ammo that it didn't need. Yeah, and it also shot really, really slow. So now it's now mm -hmm. it's gonna be like a uh, you're gonna need a primary uh, heavy weapon basically to run yeah. with this because you're not gonna be able to run this like like as a main weapon but as it as it's been reduced or you have to run backpack. That's really your mm -hmm. only odd uh, your choices here. But it's gonna pair really well with like a machine gun or something because uh, it, it does have like that that nice AOE clear, but. With only six mags, with it, and each mag is not that big either, right? So that was five rounds per mag. Yeah, this is but a huge nerf. I could fire that constantly, and probably need a reload twenty five minutes into the game. Before you mean? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So it, it had way too much ammo for its fire rate and amount of damage it could do. It was kind of OP this gun, I think. So uh, we the... we might we might see this um people like still using it but like a little bit more discretion in using it and not just like kind of mm -hmm. firing it off um let's see last sickle decrease amount of magazines wait oh oh uh, this is fine so this is because it's a pew sickle pew laser yeah this is fine because it's a last weapon so it's like you kind of if you have to reload you already kind of fucked up right so this is kind of this is fine i think and then the scythe increases Ooh, scythe kind of increased damage yeah all of the beam the still Beam doesn't put it over the sickle though, right? Increased damage. It doesn't, you think? I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure you'd have to do 460 to beat the sickle. Yeah, right? sickle's that strong. Holy shit. Sickle is it yeah. does 55 damage for a bullet. Yeah, and you could just keep shooting it too. Mm -hmm. it, that's especially good if you're running like a uh good heavy weapon or a secondary that can shoot a lot. Because then you can just swap off to like reload. Oh, here we go. Railgun change. Railgun was like really needed some changes. It was kind of really, really nerfed. Increased armor penetration in both safe mode and unsafe mode and stagger force slight weight reduced. What is even the point of the ra I, I guess, I guess they did nerf up here, the Quasar. So like, but then again, like you still have to reload this gun. So the, uh, the railgun got 100% replaced by the AMR last patch. Mm hmm So... Outside of unsafe mode, the railgun before this patch couldn't penetrate bulk base plates like it could before the. And again, big... it's like a single shot charge weapon, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like. And even before, you still needed two shots from the railgun to kill a Hulk to the face. You can yeah. do that with an AMR. And, and you only have to reload the AMR second. either. Yeah. And ha before this. Uh, we, I'd have to see what the increased armor penetration does. Mm -hmm. If it allows you to once again penetrate bulk face places, plates, mm -hmm. then in safe mode, then it's a useful weapon again. Heavy machine gun, third person crosshair enabled. Um, kind of a good change. I don't know if this is going to make it better because I don't think this was really the problem. No. But is yeah, the problem with the heavy machine gun is not only is the recoil like insane on it, but it also simultaneously has less bullets so it has less like staying power i mean this might be good against like nuking down like a tank or like a you know the big chungus devastator like really fast but that might be its only use we'll have to see i'll have to i'll have to check it out uh diligence counter diligence counter sniper um damage in oh damage increased on the diligence counter number and ergonomics improved this that is puts huge it over 135 which means it's actually this is in a, really in a, new, 
It put it, what, over 135 puts it in an actual useful threshold. Yeah, this is actually shot. crazy. Different things. Yeah, because uh, again, Diligence, damage nothing. Uh, again, damage changes don't matter, really, unless they go over HP thresholds, right? Because like, if you add, like for instance, like if 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 an enemy has an HP of like 90, and then you increased uh the damage of a gun from like 50 to 89 it effectively doesn't do anything does that make sense uh this this is pretty i mean it does it, it does do things in like other ways like you know armor um armor fall Chicken off there's a couple things but this is huge. huge this is yeah. huge One, 135 is what it takes to headshot devastator so it's actually yeah this is massive that. and i actually already liked using this gun even before this changed we, and Which add why the, the senator was basically just the better counter sniper and there's also <laughs> the, the ergonomics improved as well which is great um and the dil diligence increase again uh we talked about damage thresholds this might actually not be as big as it seems uh redeemer to kill light units more reliably that yeah it. that might it might it might do that like if you if you hit them like not in a crit spot you hit them like in the chest or know. something like that like most of the breakpoints are 85 and 100 so it's like it's not yeah i don't know if i don't know if it's gonna do that i think i think dil i think the diligence thing is a big jump in useful usefulness oh yeah this the, is the, huge the diligence isn't really anything well i'll i'll, I'll, I'll test it i'll see i'll see I, I i still i use this gun a lot so i actually know about like what it's capable of i'll see if it feels better uh let's see redeemer slight increase in recoil that's our auto pistol um peacemaker this is the is this the, this is the regular that's one that's the basic pistol increased okay, so damage from actually, 60 to 75 now it's like mm -hmm. now it's now, good now it's actually let's better. go yeah. yeah that's great better to take than the redeemer maybe oh, uh I mean, I know, hard this, to take it, redeemer had double redeemer still a better pan it's still good weapon. yeah uh but, Sen i mean senator is now objective yeah well, this is so. crazy yes. good this is insane good uh, not only was the da damage on the center increased, so this is already a medium pen weapon. Not only did the damage get increased, but now there's a speed loader. So if you have an empty, empty, it speeds up. Well, again, we have to see like how long is the animation actually for it, right? But uh, it's still going to be better. And it still has rounds reload if you need that, right? Um, let's see the dagger, last dagger. Ooh, damage increased from 150 to 200. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice. The da this was This thing was like absolutely useless before. It was like only a couple. Yeah niche uses for it this actually makes it a lot more of a competitive pick i think this is uh, you know 33 percent increase in damage uh the uh liberator damage increased from 55 to 60. this is like the basic rifle right yep um i think they had to do this to differentiate it from the uh sickle yeah yeah true um liberator concussive also got 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 i actually like the liberator concussive it's kind of like another niche pick but i i really like it uh, for the... it got buffed more than the liberator so it's it's yes. probably the better zip up gun um i think the there was a what was the problem with the liberator concussive there was oh it, it has um less rounds isn't it the liberator mm -hmm. concussive has less rounds than liberator i think is the difference the jar dominator oh it took it got a damage decrease i mean it, it this is op this gun was op so this, is, this does makes that sense. really matter for anything besides zerkers though 275 yeah just just zerkers really like like i feel like the, the only thing that's gonna do is it's gonna make killing zerkers and maybe some of the, the like the hive guards still yeah i mean it's still harder. gonna be very strong it's still a very strong gun but like but the maybe they were like just... as a, it, 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 yeah it's 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 amazing the guard dog yeah, decreased damage by 30 percent dang that's, I, I didn't really use a guard dog. You, you're more of a, you guys are more guard dog people. What do you guys think of this right here? Uh, it, it doesn't, you, to, to be honest, the guard dog, it could it could do like 80% damage reduction. I'd still take it for bugs. Oh, because it's just good at like kind of like uh getting getting rid of the ones and also notifying you when they're about to sneak the, up the, on you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. Real reason, it, like it could, it could just literally point a laser that does no damage at an enemy and i would i would still probably this take gives it. you like that 360 <laughs> degree there's no protection. there's no sound cue for like half of the enemy like half of the bugs that sneak up on you from the back so yeah it, being able to actually have the the ability to let you know that something is walking up behind you without having to act constantly turn around and yeah yeah, yeah the airburst rocket launcher will no longer detonate when shot near stratagems okay and reduce proximity yeah, no, radius 
and then so that's out. why it blew up over uh chaos so like you would shoot it you would shoot it at like enemies but then it would detect that there's a target underneath it and then explode basically mm -hmm. i see that's what that, that's what the issue was i don't know i don't know if they should reduce proximity is because the whole point of it is to shoot it above a crowd and have it explode into mass yeah that cluster. is kind of weird i feel like that's that's that just makes it not more, less likely to be useful we'll have uh, to see the, though the, the, we'll... on, the only issue was it was sh like triggering on a teammate that was right in front of your rocket yeah we'll have to we'll have to see again like i i don't know i, I well, well we'll see it, it seems like it's it's really good like on on backup calls when you actually have the time to set up on it uh stratagems changes in uh, machine gun sentry increase health okay sure tesla tower increase health by 33 percent. this is actually pretty good because the tesla tower that, that is the, the weakness of it right is like it could just get hit but i don't know does a charger still kill it in one hit charger with 33 percent still kill it there's yeah. no way it doesn't uh spear oh oh spear added a stage reload this is really big actually spear spear stage reloads is, is this is great because before the spear it only had it was only a single reload so if you interrupted the animation at any time this would just you would just lose it like your entire thing also holy crap dude yolo thank you so much dude thank you for the gifts thank you for 10 gift subs man really appreciate it thank you yolo all right um Let's see over here what else we got. So moving on. Enemies, Bile Splewer and Nursing Spewer's move speed slightly reduced. Uh, I actually kind of like this because it, it feels like it's kind of hard to deal with them sometimes. And like they can shoot so you far. You can't outrun them in scout armor. Yeah. That's the only armor. Yeah, only, only the super light armor you could outrun them. Which was a little weird given that they're these giant slug bugs that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're ranged as well, right? <laughs> yeah uh hulk's uh force required for them to stagger slightly increased uh oh what was the that's, that's yeah. a good thing huh that's a absolute i absolutely force required want that. force required to them slightly. oh no no yes yes but, but i mean like this this thing. is this is um this is rough for people that were like kind of relying on it but this, this is a good thing i agree with you for killing them what, what Wait, relies on i, force I feel like it's it's Th like that needs to happen to make it easier the problem is is you shoot them in the eye and then they stagger so then you can't get do the follow-up shot no force required no this it, it's harder to stagger them now yeah that's yeah. a good thing yeah uh whole scorcher For direct them. wait 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 what oh oh so that they don't they don't like turn basically when you're shooting so at them flinch. Yeah, yeah yeah so you can you can line i up see what shots. you mean i see what you mean yeah hulk scorcher uh direct Hulk Scorcher, direct flamethrower range. Oh my God! God bless. I don't Hulk know if that's gonna not make it one shot though. The Hulk Scorcher, Hulk Scorchers would either just just graze you from the edge of their fire no. and you would survive, or you would just instantly get. Well, I mean, like this this might be. I mean, there's a lot of the times that like you die, like when you get hit by it, you 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 die like like basically like you would have lived like with like half a second or something. This might actually cause it. We'll see. Uh, Devastator fire rate slightly increased. Only the standard Devastator, so this isn't like the the shield yeah, shield they, boys they or anything like that. They needed to be able to shoot more, right? W which one? They needed to be able to shoot more. Yeah. Well, I mean, the standard Devastators didn't stagger. They were the kind of bad. The standard, the standard ones were kind of bad. Weren't the ones that were chain staggering you hundred it's, to zero? If it's they like got the shield guys anything. and the rocket guys. Like, like like these guys were like really like every time I saw these guys, they were just kind of weak. You know what I mean? Like, they're just kind of whatever. Yeah, unless they decided to activate aimbot and shoot you twice in the head. Yeah, I mean, RNG, right? Uh, gunship sideways movement slightly increased. Uh-oh. <laughs> harder to hit now. So, I, I, I guess... That's, I, that's fine. Kind I, of, I think that they should be harder to hit. Yeah. The, the, the problem with them, though, is they're... They fire they, way too many rockets at way too inaccurate. So, like, you can't actually dodge it. If, if oh, you just get shoot. RNG. This one's actually huge. Yes. Scout Strider riders are now less vulnerable to explosions. So does that does that mean more shots from the plasma um the plasma rifle to kill? Ooh. Yeah, this is that's huge. An insane change. Because because yeah, uh previously these uh so these things are actually like really annoying if you have no way to deal with them because they have incredible armor from the front. Uh you you could get around this by having someone on your team with a plasma weapon because the plasma weapon would hit the hit the front armor and then blow up around them. And then they would get hit. For, it, it would like wrap around and hit them in the back. Um, with this change, 
if this actually makes it so it costs more bullets to actually like kill one of these these the threat on these is increased significantly fog generators yes. health and armor increase uh oh <laughs> more more rockets to blow them up now uh gunship spawners now have a much lower cap on how many gunships they can have active at a time thank christ this is yeah this is probably like also in line with the uh so they made them harder on the individual to kill um but they can't have as many you can't get swarmed as bad uh the the, the problem with gunships and th this is this is a problem with every rocket in the game is that there's random inaccuracy with it um, they predict where you're going too. Like they, 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 they predict where. Well, the 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 standard infantry do, but the devastators and the gunships just fire a barrage that has a slight degree of inaccuracy. So if you dodge it, as as you should dodge a rocket coming towards you, you can get hit by a chance it. So it will hit you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. every rocket in this game ragdolls. So if you have two gunships, and both are both are targeting you, you get perma stunned. Yeah. They they shoot eighteen rockets at you, and one hits anywhere near you you're ragdolled and then you can't do anything about the second barrage yeah patrol spawning has been increased uh where there are few than fewer than four players wait patrol spawning has been increased when there are fewer than four players the fewer the players the bigger the the fewer the players the bigger the change for four player missions there'll be no change oh i guess this is um because the spawning is individual mm -hmm. right the spawning is on an individual level each person is causing the spawning so if there's less people then there's less spawns because only one person causing the spawning for example if there's one person so if you're a player the bigger change so you still have to deal with a lot of mobs going solo see uh the biggest noticeable change will be for solo players at higher difficulties yeah yeah th so that's that's why they did this it's 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 so that the maps are still populated um despite going in like with less people you don't have the problem of well the the mission is kind of easier in a way doing it solo because you don't have to deal with um um so many spawns may the uh may the minor level generation improvements on how to distribute locations about the map oh this it's is cool still, it's still bugged though right feel the killing killing well i guess with patrols killing strongholds still increases spawns rather than reducing them right like the heat you mean like the the the, the heat levels so, so the way patrols work is basically there is a radius around objectives mm -hmm. and as you get cl closer you're, to the center of that radius you you increase your heat. heat and that causes more patrols and that's spawn. all they objectives around they, they spawn somewhere around you or somewhere near the edge of the map i think yes. either or it doesn't really matter and then they just walk towards a player's current position um at, or a position at the time they spawn yes so if that's that's so why if you when stay you're in stuck the area in one place and don't move that's why you just get patrol after patrol after patrol after yes. patrol because they go to where your last known position was mm -hmm. but if they don't if they don't see you then they just walk to the edge of the map and despawn um but killing objectives increases the spawn rate rather than decreasing it yes. so it's actually counterintuitive mm -hmm. the reason uh, why people think it's less is it or the reason why people think it reduces spawns is because you destroyed something that gets rid of your heat radius so you're no longer in heat so you're actually reducing no spawns. no what it does is when you destroy a fab it it, it, it removes the spawns that are spawned from that fab what it, but not the random but ones. not no, the it, random ones the no no, no. It, 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 re it removes the spawns it removes the heat from that area it doesn't remove the spawns Spawns will still spawn on you regardless of whether or not there's fabs. No, but really, don't they? Don't yes. they? Hmm. Yes. Doesn't don't those fabs I mean, actually I've generate seen units? Patrol spawn in... Yes, but only when only when they're aggroed. Only when they're aggroed. Same with same really? with holes. Yep. Okay. Um. Let's see. Made minor uh, level generation improvements on how they distribute location to the map. This should improve variation in distance between objectives. Objectives will likely not spawn as far away from each other as often as before. Okay. That's that's kind of good. Um. Added the setting. Uh. To dis. Oh, disable automatic climbing and vaulting while sprint for sprinting. So there's gonna be like a vault button or something now. Well, it just oh, makes you have to hold spacebar. Space <laughs> oh, you have to hold it. I see. Okay. That means oh, that means you can actually sprint towards an ammo box. I know, I cannot climb, cannot on, top, climb of on top of it. Yeah. 
Uh, let's <laughs> the best see. Change. When ready no, up, hell divers will now salute. To oh, oh, that's that. That's actually I kind of like that because it, it is a like I, I don't know I've, I don't know if it's just me but like I get kind of confused if I'm ready or not only when I'm the host though because it like has like a the, the way the language that it uses so this is kind of nice I like this needed a, a added ambience to the tremor planet's hazard to underline the severity so hell divers can react accordingly. Okay, shots that ricochet from heavy armed enemies will not properly hit the hell diver. Uh oh. Shots that ricochet from heavily armored enemies will not properly hit the hell diver who fired them. <laughs> oh man. And then they fixed a bunch of uh crashes here, which is which is great. This is just generally pretty good. Oh, that's that's gonna be rough. I'm not gonna go look into all of these. Um but they did do a lot of, uh, of bug fixes. They, they have been like kind of knocking out bugs as they go. <laughs> the auto cannon got nerfed. <laughs> Wait, did they fix the fire thing? That's the one I want to know. Did they fix? Did they fix fire? No, it's still a known issue. Still under known issues. Oh, Damage right. over time. That one. That one. I really would like them to fix. Patch. Next patch. Fixed, okay, great, great. They fixed great. superior packing. So yeah, this oh oh they did they fixed superior packing hell yeah that's a good change. Uh, superior packing is the um, ship upgrade that makes it so that you always fill up uh, from getting resupplied you fill up your entire uh, store of heavy weapons. Um, the the bug that we're talking about is uh, fire does not work unless you're the host. We don't know if it's all the time or sometimes, but there definitely is times where it doesn't work if you're not the no, host. It's it's not that it doesn't work. It's just that it doesn't. Again, I'm 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 gonna say I'm a hundred percent sure of this when I'm not, but I, I, it's it's what makes the most sense is that there's a tick rate, and there's a frame rate, and the host has a frame rate, and the clients have a tick rate. If that makes sense, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. if, if if it to the host, you're dealing damage every every frame, but it, to the clients, they're dealing every damage every server tick. You know so what? It, it it makes sense because it's dots specifically that are having this problem. Yeah. So it does make sense what you're saying, like from a, you know, from a, I guess, game dev standpoint, it, it does make sense. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for the hot fix for Helldivers 2. Um, I stream, I stream all the time on uh, twitch.tv slash leaflet. Peace out, guys.